Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is laziness. So, you know, it's also the Nine of Cups. So this is achieving things, having satisfaction, just relaxing, taking it easy. Maybe you're taking a little bit of a holiday after going through a lot of problems and you're now just getting over things and just, you know... Um, having gone through a lot of hard work, it seems, because you've got that suppression card above it, so you might be taking a bit of a break, taking a bit of a holiday, and you've got the travel card as well, so that in itself looks as though you're be, you know, you've been uh, taking a holiday, taking a little bit of a break, and just just lazing around really. Um, so you have gone through a lot. You you know, you worked very very hard with that suppression card. Maybe you've ended a project that you've been working and focusing on, and now you're just you know you're getting things coming to you with that nine of cups. Wishes are being fulfilled. And you might be doing a lot of traveling or, you know, um, this is the Eight of Rods. This is about getting a lot of uh, messages coming in, communicating with a lot of people, but also, uh, you know, traveling a lot. So maybe that's what you're doing right now. So in the past, you've got the Fighting card over here, the Knight of Swords, and the Adventure card over here, which is the Page of Pentacles. So there was some kind of new project that you began. Uh, you know, it was a lot of hard work. You had a lot of problems in it. Uh, the Knight of uh, Swords is you know, generally a card where the energies are really disruptive and dealing with a lot of conflict, maybe dealing with one particular person where there was a lot of conflict maybe it was you know on the work front as well there could have been something legal as well with this knight of uh, swords here uh, but it was some kind of project that you dealt with and you had a lot of problems uh, involved uh, were involved in that particular project now going to the future you've got moment to moment and experiencing so going uh, you know you're going to be I'm having to make a decision here there's two of pentacles there might be some offers coming in for you but this is also organizing your work schedule organizing your work so that you're not juggling too much because it seems like you've been through a lot you might be doing two projects at the same time you need to slow down and take it one step at a time and then you've got the experiencing card over here, which is the Three of Rods. So this is also about travel, meeting people, going out there into the world, putting your message out, really marketing whatever you're doing uh, at this particular moment. So there might be two projects that you're doing and you're, you know, promoting it or marketing it or working with it. But it, there's a lot of collaboration. There's a lot of travel. There's a lot of meeting a lot of people from, you know, foreign people uh, and putting your, uh, putting your ideas out there. So working on that project. So the worst of it is, seems to be over. You're now sitting back and just taking a little bit of a break, it seems. And, you know, you'll soon um, need to get that project going again. Uh, but take it one step at a time. Don't be too stressed out about it. And make sure that you're very strategic. With the Pentacles cards, it always talks about having good strategy and plan in place uh, wh while you approach things. You also might be multitasking with that uh, Two of Pentacles card. So, you know, doing two things at the same time. So I'm going to be using the Anna K Tarot for the main read. bottom of the deck you've got the nine of pentacles so money coming in for you here you're working quite independently you might have started your own business and this is uh, going to start reaping some um, rewards or bringing in the finances you can see she's got that money in her lap over there but also making plans for the future as well wishing for more money you've been putting a lot of hard work into this particular project and now you've got some financial independence so things are starting to look up slowly uh, as far as money coming in for you and it's taking off it's starting to, to pay off dividends. You've got the Knight of Rods over here and the Seven of Pentacles. So you invested a lot of time and effort into this particular job uh, and you were waiting for, um, you know, payoffs. It looks like payoff is coming for you here. You've got that Knight of Rods. There's some travel coming in for you or even communicating on a more global scale with whatever ideas you have. So with the Knight of Rods, it's also about making decisions quite quickly uh, and also about relocating or moving on or, or doing your... Um, you know, having a lot of business trips as well with this um, job or project that you're doing. Putting it out there, you've got this rod on, uh, a flag on the rod, so putting out marketing whatever product it is that you're working on and whatever you're investing in it, you're waiting for it to pay off. So it seems like, you know, you've been working very independently, 
independently. You've got the King of Rods over here taking control of that particular situation, taking control of that project, putting it out there, moving forward, uh, you know, being very proactive, working pretty hard at it. And then you've got that Ten of Cups. So it has, you know, things have started to work out uh, the end of difficult cycles uh, with that Ten of Cups. So whatever problems you went through is now coming to an end. You've got that nice big sun in the background over there showing that all the hard work is starting to pay off and your, cu your cups are starting to get full here with that Ten of Cups. Now, the Devil card, your work has kept you very chained up. You can see money is going to start coming in over here. Uh, but, you know, you've been very restricted by it. Uh, it's been your complete an utter focus right now. So going to the future, you've got the Eight of Cups. So it looks like you're going to be leaving some kind of situation behind. So, you know, if this is not you going, you know, if this is you working for some kind of company, uh, then you might be leaving it behind. But it's also leaving behind difficult partnerships, it seems. You can see they're leaving um, a couple behind, but also leaving something established behind and moving forward, venturing out on your own, uh, starting afresh, really, uh, you know, going for it here with this Eight of Cups. So you might make a decision of actually, uh, you know, doing something that's completely um, independent. Maybe you will have accumulated enough finances for you and, uh, you know, you decide to leave behind the old and move forward into something brand new. You've got the King of Pentacles, so this is you in a position of authority. So whatever you're working on is going to have a good payoff, it seems, because you become the King of Pentacles, and this is the major money card in the deck. So uh, a lot of um, finances coming in over here. So this investment looks like it's going to pay off pretty handsomely, and you know you get into some kind of position where you have enough money in your hand, uh, or more than enough money in your hand, um, and you can accumulate wealth, really, but also gives you that position of authority. And it looks like you're leaving that old situation behind. Like I said, this could be an ending of a partnership and you moving off on your own. So you've been working very, very hard. Whatever you're doing at, you're focusing completely on it. Uh, you know, you're feeling very, very tired as well with that ten of rods. It's about just, you know, feeling very burdened um, and being very focused on it. So, you know very restricted as well so whatever this job is you've just put all, everything all your effort into it and you're very exhausted from it so there's some kind of legal decision that you're pending uh, is pending over here so you're waiting for that to come in with the justice card uh, that's in your hopes and fears maybe you're worried that it's not going to go in your favor so going into the future you've got the five of cups the knight of cups and the high priest so this is about some kind of disappointment, um, you know, maybe uh, things not working out quite as you wanted it to. Maybe you are regretting not doing something. The door is open over here, so maybe you will have to, you know, since you're walking away from this night, uh, from somebody here, maybe this partnership that you're involved in or whatever you're working at, on is not working out for you quite as how you expected. There might be a lot of drama going on and maybe you decide to cut ties with this person and walk off. You can see this person sitting and crying here. The door is open, so it seems like whatever's going on, they're sitting in the rain here. Whatever this partnership or whatever this uh, is going on here that you have with this particular person or persons, it doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, working out for you. And it seems like you're very upset about it with the Five of Cups. There's a lot of regret, disappointment. And it looks like you might change your mind and walk away from it. You've got the Knight of Cups. So it looks like there might be a new offer that comes in for you uh, that takes you out of the situation. So whatever's not working out of here, it looks like you might make your, your mind up and actually leave. And with this Knight of Cups, there's a new offer that comes in for you. Uh, and uh, you, know, you might need to get some kind of advice, some kind of professional advice with that High Priest over there. Um, and you know involving money or some kind of um some kind of support you need to do some research as well before you accept this particular offer that is coming in for you maybe this partnership is not working out wherever you are in it's not really working out for you even though it's generating the finances maybe you're not getting along whoever you are working with and a new offer comes in and it looks like you need to go and do some research uh, before you um, accept any kind of offer that comes in. So don't be rash. Think about it very carefully before you turn your back on that situation and walk away. Maybe you feel like you've done too much of work. Maybe you feel like you're carrying all the responsibility and you're not really happy about it and that's why you want to leave. Um, even though it's starting to generate the finances that you need, it seems like you know maybe you feel like you're working too much uh, and not getting... Uh, enough support from the person that you're working with. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. 
Okay, so you've got the moon card over here, so important psychic event, uh, insights, events behind the scenes and release fears that hold you back. So with the moon card, you know, it's, the moon is a bit of a liar, so there might be things that have not been revealed to you, but also it's a card about feeling a bit depressed, a bit unhappy, uh, a bit miserable in this particular circumstance. And it looks like it's that. This person looks pretty miserable as they're walking away. And you're sitting here and crying over things as well with that five of cups. So there's some kind of disappointment that has happened that has left you confused, unhappy, miserable, maybe not sleeping well at night, maybe having nightmares. There's some big decision you have to make, a sudden event that needs immediate action, uh, Time is of the essence, things, think things through clearly. So this is about moving on from the situation that is causing all this stress. Uh, with this uh, night of fire, it's actually even uh, leaving this job and, and going away from it, uh, moving off to go and do, its, do the same job somewhere else or starting a brand new job somewhere else. Uh, but definitely a big decision and that has to be made pretty quickly. So some offer that is going to be coming in pretty fast uh, for you with that Knight of Cups over there. And you're going to have to make that decision pretty quickly with the Knight of Fire. And it looks like that you will move on. So an important achievement, self-discipline and will, public recognition. So it looks like you're going to have to make a decision pretty quickly, accept an offer and you're going to be moving. You might be relocating, or buying a home somewhere else, but definitely uh, someplace, whatever this new position is, is going to put you in control and it's going to be pretty successful, whatever this new venture is. Uh, but you'll have to make that decision pretty quickly and it's going to involve a lot of travel. You're pretty unhappy where you are at, even though you are starting to achieve. Um, it seems like you're pretty unhappy. And it looks like with that chariot card, if this is the king of pentacles, it might bring in a lot of money, uh, whatever this new position is as well. So you've got your financial independence. There is money coming in, but you're unhappy where you are. Maybe you are overworked at this particular moment. And it looks like, you know, a new offer that will come in, which will take you traveling, uh, give you a lot more freedom, and maybe it means that you will relocate, buy a new home somewhere else, and go and make a fresh start somewhere else. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.